Welcome to Just Call Maggie and Maggie's Real Estate Academy, where we equip aspiring real estate agents with essential tips and tricks for acing the math portion of their state exam. In this video, we'll demystify amortization and its significance in real estate, providing you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to tackle related problems that may appear on your exam. Join us on this educational journey and take your real estate career to new heights. All right, welcome back. My name is Maggie Deoso, and I am your go-to source for all things real estate. I'm thrilled to be your guide today as we dive into the world of amortization a fundamental concept in the realm of real estate. Amortization refers to the process of paying off a debt over time through a series of regular and equal payments. In the context of real estate, it plays a crucial role in mortgage loans, allowing homeowners to gradually reduce their outstanding balance while paying interest on the remaining amount. Understanding amortization is vital for aspiring real estate agents. It enables you to comprehend how mortgage loans work, empowering you to advise clients effectively and make sound financial decisions. Let's tackle those tricky amortization problems you might encounter on your state exam. Don't worry, we've got your back. In these problems, we'll be using what is called the PIP sandwich, where the PIP part of the sandwich is what we will call the meat. The first P stands for payment, the I is for interest, and the last P stands for principal. Hmm, I almost sounded like naughty by nature there for a second. Okay, let's get back to business. If the PIP is the meat, then we'll use the beginning balance and the balance after each month's payment as what we'll call the sandwich buns. This is how we'll set it up. Notice how the two balances are the buns and our PIP, payments, interest, and principal are the meat. No worries, we'll walk you through solving these amortization problems step by step to ensure you're fully prepared for your exam. For those of you following along, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's dive into what I like to call chunky problems because we're going to be doing some serious number crunching here. But not to worry, this is solved in just three easy steps that just repeat every month. Here we go. <laughs> Number one, Amy takes out a $50,000 mortgage for 15 years with a fixed interest rate of 6.5%. If she makes monthly mortgage payments of $420.75, what will be the principal balance remaining after the first monthly payment? For these types of questions, I like to set it up like this. I have my mortgage amount of $50,000, I have my interest rate of 6.5% and my payments amount there. So what I'd like to do first is to fill in the chart with all the information that is given. So for the balance old, I will start with the $50,000 here. The payment amount is $420.75. Since we will only be looking after the first month's balance, month two will not be needed. Now we get into the math. The first step is to use the simple interest formula of I equals P times R times T, where I is equal to the interest, P is equal to the principal amount, R is the rate or percent in decimal form, and T is the amount of time in years. For the first step, I'm going to find how much interest was paid in one month's time. So to do this, I say I equals P is my principal amount, which is the $50,000. So I'll put $50,000 here times my rate of my interest of 6.5%. Remember to convert 6.5% or 6.5 to a decimal, which equals 0 0.065. So now I'm going to multiply by 0 
times and then times since it's only one month out of the year and we have to signify our T with a yearly amount, we're going to say one over 12. An easier way of doing this and getting rid of that fraction is just simply to start by saying 50,000 times 0 0.065 divided by 12. And now that equals $270.83. Since that is the amount of interest that was paid in that one payment, I will add $270.83 in this part of the chart for interest. Now, step two is to find how much went to principal from that one payment. So what I'm going to do is subtract the payment amount from the amount that went towards interest. So $420.75 minus $270.83. Equals one hundred forty nine dollars and ninety two cents. Now that amount will go in this box one hundred forty nine dollars and ninety two cents. Now the last step, step three, is to find how much of that old balance was removed by that one payment of the month. So I'm going to subtract these two numbers. So I say $50,000 minus $149.92 equals $49,850.08. And now that is my final answer. So the answer to this one is C. All right, let's try another one. Number two, a $654,000 mortgage loan with an interest rate of 5% for a term of five years was made to John for the purchase of his new home. If his monthly mortgage payments are $4,131.21, what will be the outstanding principal balance after the second monthly payment? Let's use this for our information. As you see, I've added all the information from the question there. A mortgage of $654,000, an interest rate of 5%, and the payments of $4,131.21. Let's fill in the chart with what we have. I will begin with the amount that they began with, $654,000. I'll then include the payment for both months, since it's going to be the same payment each month, I will add it to both months. Now we're going to do the three steps. So step one is to find the interest. So we start with $654,000 times our 5%, 5% as a decimal, remember to divide by 100, that equals 0 0.05. Now we're going to multiply by 0 0.05 and then remember to divide by 12. That's going to equal $2,725. So that amount goes here. $2,725 is the amount of interest that was paid on that one payment. Now step two is to find out from that payment how much of it went to principal, since we already know how much went towards interest. So we say $4,131.21 minus $2,725. And that equals $1,406.21. So that amount will go in this column. So now we're going to find step three, which is subtract $654,000 minus the total amount that went towards principal of 
and that equals six hundred fifty two thousand five hundred ninety three dollars and seventy nine cents so that is now our new balance six hundred fifty two thousand five hundred ninety three dollars and seventy nine cents so since that is the new balance after the first month's payment that now becomes the old balance for month two so i will put that in this column now we do all three steps all over again using month two's numbers so interest equals six hundred fifty two thousand five hundred ninety three dollars and seventy nine cents times my five percent interest then divided by twelve and that equals two thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars and fourteen cents so I'll put that in this column now we do the same thing we are going to now subtract these two numbers so four thousand one hundred thirty one dollars and twenty one cents minus two thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars and fourteen cents equals one thousand four hundred twelve dollars and seven cents so that's going to go here one thousand four hundred twelve dollars and seven cents now that we found out how much of that payment went towards principal, we can now subtract it from our old balance. So $652,593.79 minus $1,412.07 equals $651,000. One hundred eighty one dollars and seventy two cents. So that will go here six hundred fifty one thousand one hundred eighty one dollars and seventy two cents. So that is our final balance after the second month's payment. So the answer to this one is B. That one was a little more complicated, but notice how you just repeated the same steps for each month over and over again. Let's look at another example problem that you may see on your real estate exam. Number three, Sarah obtained a mortgage for her investment home in the amount of $200,000 at an annual interest rate of 7.2%, which she chose to repay over three years. If her monthly installment amounts to $1,309.84, what is the amount of interest Sarah paid with the second month's payment? Notice how this one is just saying amount of interest she paid in the second month. For this example, our answer is going to reflect the amount that we get in this box. So let's begin filling in the chart. We know they have a balance of $200,000 as their beginning mortgage amount. Their payments equal a total of $1,309.84. And since it is a fixed amount, we are going to put it in month two as well. So now we begin our calculations. In this example, we say I equals our mortgage amount, our principal amount is $200,000 times my interest rate of 7.2, remember to make it a decimal by dividing by 100, which equals 0 0.072. Now we multiply by 0 0.072, and remember to divide by 12. That equals $1,200 even. So that will go in this amount here. So now we're going to find the difference of these two amounts. So we say $1,309.84 minus $1,200 equals $109.84. 
So that is the amount that went towards principal from that one monthly payment. So we put it in that box. Now we just subtract these two amounts. So $200,000 minus $109.84 equals $199,890.16. So that amount will now go here. And since that is the remaining balance after the first month's payment, that will now become the beginning of month's two balance. So $199,890.16 goes here. Now we do the whole thing all over again, but with month two's totals. So I equals $199,890.16 times 0 0.072 divided by 12 equals $1,199.34. So that amount will go here, $1,199.34. And there you have it. That is my final answer for this question. So the answer to this one is A. Congratulations! You've mastered amortization and are one step closer to becoming a successful real estate agent. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing your skills and knowledge. Don't forget, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow aspiring agents. Until next time, this is Maggie from Maggie's Real Estate Academy, signing off. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I want to share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips. This workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math whiz in the world of real estate.